Magic Angel here and today I want to show you the wonderful deck that I have here that we all know and love. It is the Guy and Tarot and it is done by Joanna Powell Colbert. Colbert, I'm not sure for sure how to spell, uh, pronounce the last name. It is done by New Ellen and it includes a 288 page book and the energy in this deck is gorgeous. You can see a little bit on the back. I know that this deck is now about to be put out with um, Schiffer, but this one is done by Llewellyn, and I'll show you some of the cards so that you can have a chance to uh, see for yourself. This is the back of the decks, and I want to do a comparison here so that you can see this is uh, Mystical Cats done by Llewellyn as well and I'll just put them up beside each other. There's almost an extra centimeter along the side here just so that you can tell how um, how much bigger the cards are and of course they shuffle just as beautifully as, as the other um, Llewellyn decks. Um, I have not um, shuffled these or done anything with these. These are as they came out of the package. So I'm going to go through them. Instead of the Fool, what we have is the Seeker. And the art here is just beautiful. This is the Five of Fires. Just incredible artwork. And although I'm not normally a big fan of a border, because this is such a um, rich dark card, it doesn't detract. And I love the way some of the images, as you see here, do come into the border, which absolutely draws you right into the picture. And this reminds me, I mean, I see this and the first thing I think of is my son and I when we visited Disney World in Florida. And this as well, it pops outside of the image. Just love that. It's just brilliant. And my son got up and started playing the drums with the, it, 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 the life, just pure life and, and uh, the energy just beautiful and I don't want to wait until the second because it's unlikely that I'll, I'll be able to get the second version um, the Schiffer but I already love these there's the story I, I was reading up on the story of, as this was designed and she created a picture of herself as the, basically um, I won't call the triple goddess because you're only seeing the two the two faces but if you look up closely, I saw them before, uh, some of the images as she was showing them in, in their process of painting. And I just love this. It's being able to see the aspects of ourselves as we age and not trying to stop it. It's, it's going to happen, but accepting it and understanding and grasping the wisdom that comes with it. That was the gardener, the three is the gardener, instead of the, um, the empress. And now the last one that I showed you of Joanna in the picture is the high priest, or the priestess, instead of the high priestess, the gardener, and now some of these will be out of order. The nine of fire. I love that image in the background as well, that, that, uh, that cavern. The Ten of Fire. These, they're just so intense, the pictures. The Emperor. Of the carving he's doing on the green man on the pole. And her suits are, are fire. She also uses the child the Explorer and the, I'll get to those when I get to them, but this, this is, and I love the salamander on the outside and the cat that was in the child picture and the teacher. Sugar Bear just knocked down all my stuff. So this is the Guardian. So we have the Guardian, the Elder, the Explorer, and the Child as, as court cards. And the Lovers. I just love how 
real it is, how um, down to earth you can absolutely picture yourself in any of these and love this. That is an incredibly beautiful picture underwater. It pulls you right into the image. She is an incredible artist. This is the two of water. You can just see the love there. And again, it, it embraces that the two of cups or the two of water does not necessarily mean a love of people. The canoe just makes me think of the canoe journey that we went on. And we've got the set that gets the salmon and the orca and the bald eagle. Just gorgeous. And strength. Initially, um, I had had one of the most beautiful ladies here from Splatchin. Um, we'd been talking about what we thought were our own specific um, totems. And she had said to me that she thought that I was the otter. And I saw this card in this deck not shortly after. And that is actually the reason that I got this deck to start with. because. When she had said that about me being an otter, it really fit. They're, they're such playful, loving little creatures. And this is the hermit. And I love the, the take on the hermit. The wheel for the world. No, sorry, that's the wheel for the wheel of fortune showing all the seasons and justice the five of water you can just feel you can just feel her th thinking you can feel her reflection feel her the six of water oh, with the little um, seal watching I, it's been an honor of mine to have lived on the Sunshine Coast and to be able to have experienced. I just, I'm going to see how close and how clear I can get this. He's right there. He's right in it. And the joy and the sharing and the love that you feel in this card. The six of water. <laughs> and the hangman. Nicely done. The feeling of nature and the beauty in these cards and the sparkle that comes off of the water and death. It, it looks at, at it, you know, as more, you know, you feel the rejuvenation, you feel the rich life that's coming up from it. It's just, you know, an eagle right on the outside there. Because for all death there is a renewal. Come on, come into focus, my dear. Come on. So come into focus, and I can get you up there. All right. And temperance. I I love angels. I love all the imagery. I love everything. And this one with the the rainbow flowing from hand to hand, gorgeous. And the seven of water. And this is called blindweed instead of the devil. It shows how entangled we get in the things that hold us into a position uh, that leaves us in pain and beautiful. And I mean, this might seem simplistic, but this this brings me to you know my own experience of just loving the water and being in the water. And then we have 16 is lightning for the tower. And another beautiful one, the star. This is the image that's on the book. And again, you look at the outside and how they have that fern just on the outside, just pulls you right into the picture. The nine of water. She is so talented, this lady, that 
when I first looked at these images, I really had to look close because I could not believe that there was there was no photoshopping because things looked so realistic, but not overly realistic. And we have the Ten of Water and the symbolism behind this of of the salmon that give up their lives for their family it was such a different take. I just love this card. And the moon. I am um, one of one of my uh, most beautiful totems that I've experienced has been the snowy owl, and this will always mean something to me. And the child of water. Oh man. This just reminded me of living in Port Ellis and taking my children out to play and dabble in the water and the fascination when their feet hit the water. I love it. And then we have Joanna the Sun. And that's also the, the cover of the the package. And awakening. Explorer of water. And the guardian of water. I love that she has the shell and the big turtle. I love turtles. I also have First Nation ancestry as well as Celtic ancestry. So this was Gaia, the, the world, is our 21 card. This here sums it up. Caretakers of the world we are, caretakers of our earth. Elder of the water, I love the look on his face. If you've lived on the coast, this is, um, it's hard to explain, but it, you, the, this is, this is every day, every single day, this beauty, this absolute gorgeousness everywhere. As soon as you step off the road, and even if you don't choose to step off the road, um, the little fawn was the ace of earth, and this is the two of air. I just feel her moving into thoughtfulness. And the three of air. And I love the, the racial mixture that she has put in as well. It's beautiful. It's a combination of the earth, the four of air. We are one, and it, she has represented everyone here. The two of earth, the five of air. Um, and unless you've experienced watching the carnage that goes on on the side of the road uh, in, in any highway in BC basically that has eagles this is the three of earth and this this was the epitome of, of women sharing and celebrating in womanhood and learning and teaching each other um, the healing and medicinal properties in in the plants and making oils with the mortar and pestle and behind and the hanging of the garlics and all the other um, fresh herbs. Beautiful. And at any time uh, in Vancouver as well you could see people going through Tai Chi movements or um, rhythmic drumming. Uh, it's a rich vibrant place to be part of and I love it. That, by the way, was the six of air, and this is the seven of air, and uh, it makes me think of the Enderby Cliffs up in behind our home here, the four of earth. Love it. There's your happy little squirrel. <laughs> and the eight of air. The five of earth. And some of you who've been waiting, thinking that you would uh, prefer to get the Schiffer, don't wait. If you, if you want to use these cards and have them for Christmas, go and get these cards. You will not be sorry. The Six of Earth, you can just feel the market. You can feel the energy and the, the laughter and the hubbub of everyone traveling around looking at the fresh produce. Ten of Air, oh. Anyone will have experienced this as the Canada geese and just the yesterday too I was watching and we have here the swans that uh, fly above they stop here on their last 
on their last step before going so so. This is the seven of earth. The child of air. Oh, oh, just love that. The explorer of air. Every gender, every age, every group, all of the world, the the winged winged, the two legged, the four legged, the flyers, the swimmers, everything is represented. And this makes me think of a slatchine here. They don't use these this style of drum, but they use their hand drums and being part of this energy when when there's prayer or sharing in in another snowy owl, guardian of the air. I can't help but absolutely Yes, he just flies along. One of the best things in a, in cards is when I look at the artwork. Nine of Earth, with a big blue heron flying in the background. When I see artwork that makes me say, oh my God, I want to do that, um, that's when I know I've really, really been touched. The forest paths, the rich smell, as I look at this, I just feel, I feel every bit of it. Um, I experience the child of Earth. The explorer of Earth. The elder of air. Ace of fire. Joanna, I love your work. I just love it. The two of fire. The three of fire. Reminds me of my thought that I want to do ballet dancing and then I think, ah, I'm too old to do that. And I think, well, no, I'm not. I can do whatever I like to do. Guardian of Earth. Elder of Earth. And lastly, our Four of Fire. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, let's get the book and we'll have a look at that. This beautiful book, which um, has the image from as well from the deck, a hundred and, or sorry, two hundred and eighty-eight pages, and none of it wasted. I would have to do an entire review just on this book because of, it pulls you in. Um, there's, there's four or five pages on The Magician, and, well, I'm going to go, I'll just go into what it says in The Magician. It talks about deepening your understanding of the magician, the themes being empowerment, will, focused intent, magic, creative energy, skill, ideas become realities, manifestation, action, yang, in contrast to the priestess seeing, ecstasy, the symbols, a little bit it talks about the symbols, journal questions, um, the shadow side of the card, um, when you get the card in the reading, and and then how does the magic flow through me? How do I express my creativity? When do I feel like I am channeling spiritual energy into a physical form? Those are just some of the questions, some of the questions that it asks you. And that is for every single card. It goes into that depth. Um, injustice, karmic balance. It talks about deepening your understanding of justice. Um, and letting go of the hanged man. As I said, I would need to take an, an entire reading just of this, and then it has a bit about working with the cards. It gives you multitudes of spreads. And when I talked to Joanna, she mentioned that the book will be the same in the Schiffer pub publication, and that um, that there will be a few more spreads that she's going to add. But if you want, if you want to do this for Christmas, do not wait. You will not be disappointed. This is probably one of the one of the best decks that I've ever had and ever will have for reading. Um, aside from all the the collectability of it, um, I think I showed you the backs of these as well. They're just so so gentle, so soft. You can feel the nurturing coming from them. I can't say enough about this deck. I can't say enough about this book. I would buy this book separately if it was being sold separately. So um, 
don't wait, get this. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you what to do, but I can't see you being disappointed. This is an absolute incredible in investment for your for your soul journey and um, thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye for now.